what's up guys it's august 19th 2024 got a small pullback bull trend today that was nice um yeah we've <laughs> those are just nuts what is going on this is pretty crazy selling i remember thinking like oh yeah i'm not saying we're not in a range bound but i'm just saying like what is going on <laughs> um breakout on the 3rd of may First opposite bar was on the 16th. Give me two seconds. First opposite bar was on the 16th. <clears throat> we have a wedge bottom. This is the EMA. We break out. We're channeling for three legs. Leg one, pull back, leg two, pull back, but more sideways, leg three, climactic. See uh, tails right here on top of these candles. Three pushes up. After three pushes up, that's followed through with three bear bars into the EMA. First touch of the EMA. Bullish went for a bounce, but this selling was good enough for a leg two. Leg one, pull back, leg two. Bulls get there, leg one, pull back, leg two in the form of a pullback. On July 31st, 2024, we tested the breakdown level from July 24th. Two bar reversal on August 1st, and we're in August. So then this was, we're in August. That's crazy. So we've had this much selling and that much. The range has been picking up. The volatility is getting, well, the volatility was pretty nuts around here it's kind of what was how many points did we have today 56 uh we had a little more than that i i just then i remember this day i think <clears throat> let's see 137 pretty much double the volatility is starting to come down um where are we yeah so breakout if bulls can keep this gap open there's gonna so if tomorrow's candle somewhat like maybe sells or it goes higher but if tomorrow's candle doesn't test yesterday's high then there's gonna be a gap and that's also great for the bulls we got two closes above this gap bulls are gonna want to they got they've got one good close above this they want another good close and that gap's getting closed. This gap will get closed next, and then that gap. We're almost back to July 15th high. That was the top before the sell. Um, we are 31, 70, so we're about 90 points away from the high. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna pause and get a sip of water for a few seconds. That's something in my throat. All right. So yesterday we had a gap down, rally for three legs, sell off, testing the breakout point, bar one, rally for the rest, rally for the middle of the day, and then we go more sideways. Today we can see the morning had a somewhat of an expanding triangle, three pushes up, one, two. Let me draw this. One, two, three. That creates a wedge top. It reverses lower for two bars. I got trapped. I went short here. I hit out around this bar for me. Um, yeah. It, this bar, bar 10, was testing. Oh, excuse me. Bar 10 was testing the prices over here. I moved it so we can kind of do it bar by bar. Bar 10 was testing the high of 77, two bar 70, bar 11. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, so 10 was testing the high of 77, and bar 11 reverse higher, so no follow through for the bears. Big gap bar in a range, so gaps get filled in within a range, and that happens on 12. So there's a big gap from the low of 9 to down here. That almost gets filled here, and there's a gap from here to here, and that gets filled with 12. 13. I think you got to get out of shorts by now. We've been in a bull trend. This is really bad. For, this is absolutely no follow through. So if you're still short from here and you see 13, 4, I would get out. That's is also 3. I mean, you, one could argue like, oh, it's a wedge top. But also, we're in a bull trend and we've been in a bull trend for a very long time. Yeah, we had selling, but that was just a part of a range. We, this is temporary range lows. 
or if that's just range of lows and it's buy low so high. We're going to the upper third of the range. So the upper, I don't know, upper third. We're getting to the upper part portion of the range. So we'll see what happens at highs if it creates a double top or if we break out and keep going. Um, we got a strong channel. We had the market trended above the EMA for the most part. Only one, two bars, three, four, four bars touched it. And then we trend higher for over 20 bars. First deep trend line break is usually a good fade. So we're fading the bare leg back to the recent highs. So we'll see what happens. That's how it works on the five minutes. That's how it works on any time frame because price action is factual. Good close. Th I mean, full bar 13 closing far above the EMA. Bad. Well, I say closing, so there's a gap right here. So I should let me reword that. 13 creates a gap with 10. The high of 10, the body of 12, the low of 13 creates a gap. 14, follow through, bad close, going more sideways is up. 15, again, more sideways price action. The tails are getting bigger, so there's two sided trading, although we can't see the bear bars. 16 starts to break out, so now we can kind of see if a bull flag is forming, but there's a pull sideways. 16 starts to break out, 17 breaks out, strong bar, good close. We're in a bull trend, bulls are gaining momentum. 18 is bad follow through though. You know, you definitely want to see a bull body. 19, bull close. 20, another bull close. Bulls are making highs. I don't think this is not worth shorting. If you want to short, just you're just going to have to wait. Um, The bulls are, we've been trending. It's not a good time to go short. Bull bars are getting better closes now. Went from two sided trading, excuse me. <clears throat> we went from two sided trading to more uh, trending highs and trending lows. 21, first pullback after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. First pullback after 10 low bars. I think we're going to at least test 22 is high. Excuse me, at least uh, test 20 is high. 22, bad follow through for the bears. They got short here. They have to scalp out or they're at least sitting at a break even position. 23 starts to be a bull flag. That, that first, so just how I described right here. That's what we're seeing right here, right? It's pretty much the same thing. Our bull is going to get the test of the highs. First trend line break and test the highs. 24, bad follow through. 25, test the highs. So just how we had that set up on the daily chart that we're talking about. Here it is on the five minute. Testing highs. 25, two bar reversal, wedge top. However, we're in a bull trend. Gap, bull, bulls have gaps open. You definitely want to see bears closing gaps before you get short. 22, more sideways. 27, excuse me, did I say 22? 27, bull bar sideways. 28, another range bar. It's a bear close. 29, it's kind of a good bull body. But look, we've had more sideways price action. There's a tail on top of that. That's in the that's third leg. So leg one, pull back leg like that. Kind of creates a wedge top. And there's also a, a hidden... Well, not necessarily hidden, but one, two, pull back, three, and then look right here on these candles. One, two, hold on. Okay, push up, push down, push up, push down, push up. Lots of wedges. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to, I just want to make sure I'm, I called that out right. So let's go down to the lower time frame. Okay, so here's a wedge bottom into the EMA on one minute. Like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three. Sideways, like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three. Go more sideways, like one, pull back, like two. Here's that wedge top. So let's draw that in here and then go back to the five minute. So there's that wedge top I was talking about. And that sells off into the EMA. First tag of the EMA over 20 bars, excuse me, over 10 bars. Over 10 bars, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Over 10 bars of the EMA. I'm not looking to short 30. If anything, I'm just waiting for price if it's sideways. And uh, we are trending higher, but I was trying to pay attention. Like, are we trending or are we range bound today? And I had these boxes drawn like this. That's kind of where I was drawing it. Something like this. I was just like, okay, wow. So although we are trending higher, we've been more sideways. Just from, I'm not looking at the time. I'm just saying, like, look at this box to these three trend bars and then look at this box so we are trending but we're also going sideways for more so it's kind of a bull trend 
it's a it could be a it's just not the strongest bull trend i guess is what i'm trying to say there's sideways price action that creates flags that's where bull bears get trapped um so 30 trap into the ema bears that get short are getting a coffee scalp if they don't scalp on 31 they're trapped on 32 33 full bar so first first gap bar to the ema could be a good fit to the highs i didn't take it but i was watching it 33, 34, full bar, closing on a tie. Then outside bar could be a trap. Bears, this could be struggling for a leg two. Let's see what happens. 30, 34, first, we have a three bar bull channel. First opposite bar could get a fade to the highest. 30, 30, 34th high. There's that fade, 36. Leg one, pull back leg two. We're at the high of the range. Bears are selling range highs, 37. Bad fall on 338 for the Bears. The Bulls are trying to stack more bars above the EMA again. 39 market is breaking out of the range, put in 40. Good. 40 is follow through. Not the best follow through, but it's follow through in a bull trend. That's a good bar. 40, 41. Strong bar closing on a tie. But bad follow through 42. 43 is more sideways price action. So every new high, the market is starting to go more sideways. So, you know, we want to see momentum, not necessarily momentum sideways, momentum sideways. We want to see something like even this was pretty nice. You know, that's a good momentum. Yeah, new highs went sideways, but look how shallow pullback, new high, shallow pullback, new high, shallow pullback, new high. Here, it's a same concept, but it's a deeper pullback. Quick new high sideways, down, back. Um, 48, I think, was that we're trying to buy the high of. 46 are trapped on 48. If they have their stop order here, they don't get full 47. Traps are reverses lower. 48 is outside bar. Leg one, pull back leg two. 47, excuse me, 49. Bears get the tag of the EMA. So, so there's that leg one, pull back. One, pull back leg two. Another bull bar above the EMA. We also have a new bull flag here. Wedge bottom. And I just want to point out this is a form of a wedge bottom. There's a budget bottom in the bull trend, so that's important to note. Bears are getting trapped in a bull trend. 51 sideways price action. It's a bull bar. Two more sideways price action. I was long around here. I was skeptical because it was bull bars, but so I was holding. But it was a lot of tails, but it was a bull bar, so I had a bull bias for trading above the EMA, but in the bull trend. And then it paid off. Uh, we got the breakout 54, 55. Market starts the race. Um, it's a bull close at new highs, not the best close. 50, there's that sideways price action again, 56, 57, market goes down, 58. So after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bull bar micro channel, I think it's strong enough to get its own leg two, and it does here. Speed this up a little bit. Another four bar or three bar micro channel, this leg starts on the low 59, sideways price action 63, because that's where I took profits. Um, 63, strong bull bar. But we go more sideways, right? We tag the EMA. We almost tag the EMA. Bears almost tag the EMA. This has the breakout point of 63. I think we're officially, if we're not in a range now, if we were, we're not in a range back here, we're definitely in a range now. They go big down. That doesn't mean we go sideways. We could have a range with more bullish pressure. But the, what's going on here? Two seconds. 67, 68, bull bar trapping bears that go short. Trying to um, front run the breakout trap. 69, they get a chance to get out for a small loss. It reverses higher. Seven, 70, leg one, pullback, leg two. Sideways price action. Next bull bar will make a wedge top. Leg one, pullback, leg two. Pullback, leg three. And this is also a type of a bull flag. 70, 71, 72. And there's also a wedge top if we extend this. Trap bulls that bought this high. Want to buy lower and buy more. Get out for a scalp on their second target and breaking it on their first. 73, more savage price section. 74, just the doji. 75, a good bull bar. 76, another bear bar sideways. So we're getting more sideways price action. Again, if we draw the boxes. Like, let's just look at just a quick sketch. How much of this price action is really... Ending. So this can go here. That's the swing high. So don't say I'm cheating. Swing high. This is the swing low, just to be fair. And even then, we could do ticks, but we'll just keep it at the bodies. 
to be consistent. Look at the sideways price action. Yeah, we had a bull trend. There's no doubt. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, let's acknowledge that also how many bars were trend bars. There was good bars. There was good strong bull bars within these ranges. But for new for new prices, it was pretty weak follow through. Um, yeah, I was just trying to look at the market from a more neutral perspective instead of always trying to. I don't know. I just think I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'll add those boxes up. Let's go over the micro gaps. I'm gonna call it a day. First gap here. That's a breakout gap. It's a form of a breakout gap. It's not the end all be all of breakout gaps. Remember, we're talking about like where is the gap? Is it above the breakout, below the breakout? This one, this one was above the breakout. Sideways price action. Another gap here. Bears we'll get their first gap here, but that closes in a range. Gaps close. We'll just close that gap and they get another breakout. Oh, they get a zero height gap. So the high of 39. Five. 24, the low of 41, 550. So there's a one tick gap right here. Is there the low? The high is 5.25. The low is, yeah. So I think there's a one tick gap here. It's weak. I'm just, this is not the size of one tick. I'm just trying it for a visual purpose. So don't. This one's just for visual. And then there's another gap here, 40 to. The low of 42. Right there. You see what I'm saying? If this was just a little bit smaller, it would look good. But I wanted to drop the top one. Okay, that's a little bit better there. Okay, we're going more sideways. Get another gap while we're breaking out. Sideways price action again. And then the bulls get a gap here. Uh, late in the day, gaps can become targets, so rather than going for a measured move, there was a reversal target, and that was filled. And the bulls that bought the low here that had limit orders were also filled, and they got a pretty nice leg at the end of the day. So you could pretty much buy any bar, hold for a few bars, and make at least a scalp. Not saying to buy bear bars, but, you know, there were, there were options today. Hope you guys did good. Let me know what you guys have been up to. Um... Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to, I'm still trading on a evaluation account. I've been on SIM for almost two months now because I'm just going to take my time and trade breakouts how it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be done the correct way. Uh, rushing, it gets me nowhere. So <laughs> I've, I've got it. I understand. I have been doing this. I've been trying to, okay, I get the picture. Okay, anyways, guys, <laughs> have a good one. Thank you for your support. And uh, hit me up. I'll have you guys later.